some public land hunting today. I very rarely hunt public land. I'm out with my wife's family. Hi, Dunny and Justin. We're out at Raystown Lake, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know if you're from the from PA. Everyone's sort of Raystown. I just got set up here. This isn't normally what I hunt. I'm, I'm blessed on private land. It's always an experience when I come here to hunt public, especially an area like this that gets hunted really hard. My game plan for right now is just to sit. We used the boat this morning to access this area. And my theory is there's a road up here that you know people can access without a boat. In theory, they're going to drive the deer down to me, whether they mean to or not. It's... It's like dead calm. We heard one shot so far this morning. I, I don't always expect a whole lot here, other than seeing a lot of people. Always can expect seeing people, so I'm gonna sit tight and hopefully, I'm sure they're gonna, we're gonna be in a drive at some point today. They drive really hard out here, so I, I don't personally need to shoot a deer today out here. But if given the opportunity, I will. I'd like to see the other guys I'm with shoot shoot a deer today or a bear. Bear is open out here today, and I have a bear tag. That I won't pass up. Scrapes. 
lot more deer. One might have been a buck, not 100%. Yeah, one of those deer was a buck. I can smell them. Stinky, stinky buck. Hopefully those deer didn't just go around me. They were bedded right down along the root water. I had no time to even think about shooting. I was hoping to hear a shot by now. See all those leaves right there, they're all turned up. <clears throat> they went right down this trail. All right, I gotta try to find a way through this thicket. Two. All right, that's the two I saw. There was a buck with him. Really? I could smell it. I, I never seen the buck. I could smell the damn buck. They, they might have crossed the road. Maybe. But I think they went up to the next valley because my dad said he's seen some going up that valley over there. Was, you know, it worked. Got the deer up. Yeah. yeah. It was like 10 yards away from him. She was hauling. Yeah. I figured after I yelled. Could you hear me yell? No. -uh. I yelled, Justin, I got him coming. <laughs> no, I never. I never heard him. And then I was real close to the lake. They were bedded right up against the lake. Oh, really? Yep. I bet they're the same way in there, man. Yep. Which is ideal because the wind's coming like down this way. Yeah. So then the winds, they're probably watching the lake and the wind's at their back and then no they can goes, smell everything. No one goes through there, probably. No. There's no food tracks in there. No. Well, I just had someone shoot behind me. Like in the woods I was in. Sounds like the drive's starting. I hear him hollering over here. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm watching the back door. These deer aren't gonna want to go the way that they're driving. And uh, the one guy said they kicked up six behind me, the stuff I just went through. And all they wanted to do was circle around. Maybe, maybe, maybe the deer won't get uh, in between them, who knows, but organized deer drives. Gotta love them. So believe it or not, there's another drive behind me going on. They're gonna push out what those guys just pushed out. Well, I'm gonna stand up just so they see me a little easier. Now that this has been driven out twice, I don't know what the hell to do. It's just crazy. Driving, driving, driving hard today. So I'm gonna go away from these guys. There's nothing in here. I mean, that big group literally just went through here. They're not gonna kick anything up. So, I don't know what to do. I'll just go walk around, I guess. Try to find uh, a thicket no one else was in yet. I think that's the best bet. Well, just found it. Pretty decent spot to sit. There's a deer, there's a deer. Shoot. It's a damn buck.
I was just walking around down there. Man, I wish that thing didn't have horns. That would've been awesome. Well, I had just had the fourth drive come through these woods. It's, it's absolutely nuts here. We thought using the boat, you know, you can get away from people. Looks like everyone's using a boat this year. So the last, the last guys I just talked to, sounds like they're going to drive the bottom. That's been driven out three times already. So in my opinion, more than likely, there's probably not any deer in there, but I guess you never know.